And they made it through chapter one. Alrighty, so we are back for chapter three. Has one of the fuckers plays. Don't take it personally, babe. It just ain't your story. Uh, the last time we left off, uh, shit was going down with Akira and uh, Nolan. Yep. So we're gonna have to see how that pans out. Absolutely. It's gonna be a train wreck, I predict. Yeah. Um, this time with us, we have two very special guests in the most derisive way possible. We have Lady Fucker and Gore Fucker here with us. Say hi, guys. Hi there. What's up? All right, that was uh, Lady and Gore, respectively. I, uh, of course, joining me again, Hessman is Fat Fucker and Just a Fucker, as yeah. always. And uh, let's go ahead and get right into it here. Want the All right. Let me just warn you right now, this story is going to end in bloodshed. Oh, damn. Oh, fuck. You'll find that you become attached to a character only to have only for them to die senselessly, and it's going to hit hard. Oh, man, well, this is fucking stupidest foreshadowing I've ever seen. <laughs> so I just want you to be forewarned that there isn't a happy ending here. You should know what you're getting into. It would have been nice at the start, as opposed to fucking two chapters in. There's a lot of value, of course, and I want you to take a good hard look at what the emotional impact means, despite the fact that you see it coming. This isn't a story about plot, it's a story about feeling. You definitely need to focus on that or you're going to feel like it's pointless. This story definitely is not about plot, let me just say. This no. entire game yeah. is not about plot. No yeah, way. It is you, all about feeling. Yeah. Our very special guests will see in just a moment just how warp this game goes. Yeah, they're pretty yeah, much yeah. coming into a blind as well. How, and, much, uh, how much of you guys, know, how much do you know about this game? Um, absolutely nothing at all. Perfect. Yeah, I've gone through chapter great. one. Chapter one, okay. okay. Ah, so you All right, something? so you okay. have an idea. Yeah. A little bit. You know what, what the maybe... No, you don't. Not really. Yeah, unless he made the same decisions as we did, he may not have any. Yeah, control. maybe, maybe not. All right, so Kendall has a question here. Let's hear what he has to say. She. She has to say. Let's hear what this person has to say. Is the book like the movie? Oh, God. I figured one of the two class of talking would ask that. I just wasn't sure if it was going to be her or Akira. It always annoys me all the same. Battle Royale of the book is nothing like the movie, aside from superficially having the same story. <laughs> you have to understand this is entirely serious. <laughs> gotcha, sir. So let me just give you some context for this tragedy before we start. Chapter 3. Your real problem is... Is... Um, seven messages. Seven. Oh, man. Let's, let's right. just power through those right yeah, now. Yeah, I think we should. Yeah. All right, in this game, there is a... Uh, like this Amy Connect. Oh network, God, it's going down. It's kind of like Facebook. Yeah, it's like a Big Brother for students' conversations that teachers have access to. It's like a it's so, like a school Facebook that all the students. That's use. what Facebook used to be, in though, just for schools. But yeah, but the, the teachers, teachers have, have like super admin unfiltered access. access to everything. They have a feed of everyone. Yeah. The te- but the, but the students don't know the teachers have that. They'd be eavesdropping all day. Yeah. 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 Okay, so. Uh, let's see. No one has some stuff to say. Uh, hey, I'll oh, do a cure, by the way. Uh, hey, sorry about last night. I know that was really abrupt. It's just that it was dinner time and my parents couldn't wait any longer. Sorry, I didn't mean to be a jerk or whatever. Uh-huh. Oh, he was a jerk you. last night, then. Akira Yamazaki. Uh, I finally ended up watching the rest of Eniko. You're right. It really is awesome. What a cute couple and a great ending. Is that the wow. Sailor Moon parody, Eniko? I don't know. I think it was. It's very awesome. Post. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it really is super badass, but it's kind of got me thinking. I was going to fangirl out about it, but I feel awkward. Ooh. Lesbian love interest. Perhaps. Ariana? Hey, so you never did tell me about the time you were in love. Did you want to tell me about it? It sort of sounded like you did. Uh, uh, uh. Alright. Bella? Ari told me about the party this Friday. Sorry, I don't think it'll be able to go, but thanks for inviting me. Okay, well, superficially nice as always. Taylor, get off. Is really curious if she's the only straight person in this whole class. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Taylor. Taylor sucks. Fuck you. By the way, Taylor, Taylor sucks. Is a bitch. Yeah, here, Sign actually, down. let me go yeah. ahead and update let's, you. Let's We've taken the... notes about Taylor because yeah. she's retarded. We've taken track of Taylor. Oh, man. Bitch, liar, crazy. That word is delusional. I spelled it wrong. Doesn't she like the teacher, too? Uh, no, that's, that's Isabella. Maybe. But we don't know yet. We, Probably. She might. She's a, she's a she slut. might like the teacher as well. Yeah. She uh she got she dumped her man is now her man has turned gay. <laughs> or rather yes. yeah, really. Yeah, pretty much. Uh Charlotte is kind of stern about what she's reading for a literature class. She's not a fan of So she's a Christian. Must be, or she's something a, like she's that. She's at least a GK. 
the unit is. I'm really excited about this unit. I think this could be the one that finally gets the people who don't normally pay attention into it. And alienates the one person who does. Sure, it's really long, but it's also incredibly exciting and a feeling about it. Lost oh, Charlotte Reigns has been down to just Charlotte and his ability to go to the classroom ever since he has been spending his time with Nolan instead. Kendall says, hey sir, do you mind if Aiden here too? No, I think it's probably the most she's ever said to me. Ever. No, go right ahead. Thanks, you're a real bro, sir. Thanks, I think. She goes off to join the other two girls in the classroom. Oh, um, we've got a message. So, before we get into this conversation, let's read this conversation. Yeah, actually, I kind of do. It's a long story, though. I mean, it's just not the worst thing ever, I guess, but it sucks. Okay, so... Gosh, we don't ever get anything out of that. Calling the teenage girl yeah. for real. Considering that she is, kind of understand. Hi, Kendall. They're both talking again? Oh, well, there's no need to channel it here. Sorry, I just meant I'm glad. Only if you're okay with that. Sorry, I can I can still give you room if you want. Don't be silly, of course. Don't be silly. Sorry. Knock that up. Come on, this whole thing where we've been avoiding each other is silly. Unless it's both promise not to do that again. Okay, I promise, Sean. Oh, you still sound like you're trying too hard. Relax. Can't we just go back to the plain old wall, bro, Kendall? Trying hard. Mm hmm. <laughs> Kendall looks uncomfortable when the laughs. No, okay, sis, I can do that. Yeah. <sighs> That's better. It really is good to talk to you with the air clear, Kendall. I had you were doing for like 30 seconds. Alright, so before this gets into a tangent, let's check our messages again. No problem, it's okay, bro. We were on the phone for like two hours anyways. Uh, true enough? Hey, why are we chatting like this when you're sitting right next to me anyway? Waffle. OMG, STF, you don't say that, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> Cat face, you can actually do that? Har har. Really? I would have thought you'd be on and on about how Inko is your waifu or something. For sure. What's a waifu? Who knows? Who cares? Uh, waifu is... Yes, he knows. Uh, it's, it's yes, like he a... the resident waifu. It's a bad, um, <laughs> a parody of the sound of life in a big Japanese. Life? Waifu. Life. Life. Oh, is boy. like a spouse. A female. Mm. Yeah, he's being a bitch. Fuck that. Alright, yeah. Orange fucker is the cat. He's the resident asshole. <laughs> we ignore him as best we can, but sometimes he's just too oh. pervasive. Oh <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Meanwhile, I can't help but notice that Isabella looks as uncomfortable as Caught awkwardly in her reconciliation. Isabella looks exactly the same as she always does. Absolutely no change. Same expressionless face, same demon rape eyes. Demon rape eyes. And just nothing. There's no change. Totally uncomfortable. Throw her a line! Yeah, we're gonna help. Hey, Isabella, can you come here for a second? No, oh, you got a, you got a news. Yeah, no, yeah, before we go into yeah, what's the news? Oh, Don't worry about that. Come on, I'm your friend. You can tell me. Okay. We're going this is gonna be important because this chapter's about Isabella. Going for the goad. Yes, what is it? Nothing. I just thought it looked like you needed an out from those two making up. Yeah, thanks. It's a bit awkward. I'm happy for them now. Like it's been a long time coming for those two. I've got a little bit. I guess. It yeah, it's a long story. That's the impression I got. She is totally in love with one of them. Hell oh, yeah. There's an awkward pause. Anyway, you're welcome to stick around and go back. I just thought you could use the choice. Thanks. No, I don't think I need to be in the middle of that. Staring at her occurs to me that maybe it's not just an awkward silence. I think her mind is somewhere else entirely. Where? I have no idea. Does something matter? I'm not sure. Maybe. Okay, well, if there is something. Sure, I understand. It's just that I'm not sure, my, I'm not sure myself right now. I'll uh, let you know. Sorry, no, no pressure on the ass. Not out there. It's okay, I understand. Thanks. Three days oh, later. So we got a three day skip now. Yeah. We've been getting been... like, like daytime skips, one day skips. One time when we get two days. This is the biggest day yeah. skip. We've a lot got. of later that day is a lot yeah. of three hours later. Or yeah. a lot of four fifty five. Yeah. yeah, whatever. Does yeah. this mean you have a lot of messages to catch up on? Probably. Very possibly. Yeah. Yeah. We're probably going to get spammed. We're going to get, yeah, we're going to get spammed. There's probably right a 12 here. channel coming up, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One every chance or something. There's always a pointless game. I'll channel. see you. Only five. five. Okay, only five. All right. It's not that. I mean, I really liked it. It's awesome. And I do love Enko for reals. It's just, it's the fangirl thing in general. I'm not feeling. kind of feel weird about the whole thing now. Honestly, kind of feel weird in general. 
Woman out. Yeah. It's kind of disturbing what you've been Yeah, for reals. I know what the hell is up with that. I kind of like it, actually. <laughs> I bet you do. <clears throat> All right. A love poem, a love poem, a love, love poem. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's... I'm going to show you. It's a guy. That's a guy. Just read this profile here for a minute. We'll give you a second. Out loud. Hold me tight, tight enough to break me, so that even in the blizzard I won't feel cold. Birthday, September 18, 2012. Hometown, Sakura, Japan. Gender, male. Interested in boys, boys, boys. Religious views, Church of the Megami Mel Melody Sama. Political views, burning justice prevails. Relationship status, not interested. Attending Lake City Academy, grade 11. That's one of the more ridiculous profiles. Please admit this with us. They're, they're, they're all ridiculous, though, in their own right. It's a bit silly. Fair. It's a little bit silly, yeah. for real. All right, let's try something different today. Today, oh, nice. uh, we're going to focus on chapters 60 to 65 <laughs> in particular. That's the whole lighthouse scene. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, this class sucks. I would have yeah. yeah. hated this class. Uh, I would have really shit on this new teacher as well. What, what yeah. kind of class like, is this? It's a literature class. It's a literature class. This class would have blown. Yeah. So I'd have breezed through this. Slapped. Fuck it. I put up three questions Three questions from five chapters. I'd like for you to break them into groups. Up, Break up into groups and two or three in answer. Mm. You immediately all start chattering, figuring out who they'll partner with. It has to be with someone you haven't worked with this semester, though, if that's possible. Let's mix things up a bit. Okay, in half an hour, we'll, each, we'll go over each of your answers. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, yes, here we get into the, the whole mm -hmm. thing. Okay, oh, here, I got a, a cigarette for you. Right here. Right in your hand. You need a lighter, too? Ah, uh, you need a lighter for the uh, lady fucker here? Uh, yeah. All right, here we go. Thanks. And now we're back in the game. Everybody's got to eat. Cigarettes. That's what we're saying here. Straight tobacco. Uh, let's see. Isabella is explaining now. His name was Alan Mason. He was my first boyfriend ever back when I was 13. And, well, and she was in love. Yeah, if you ask me, we were dating. Oh, wow. I was wrong, though. Oh, okay. This is going to be great. We spent all our lunch hours together, walked home together every day, and spent our evenings talking endlessly about the silly music we both liked. He was a year younger, and wasn't, I guess, the most mature boy around. All my friends always made fun of him, but I really admired him, you know? No, she probably does not. Between a 12 and a 13 year old. She probably does not know. You can probably really speak in gibberish here. Yeah. And, uh, bored as hell in class. Yeah, no, <laughs> it Fuck you, bitch. Taylor! Terrible Just bitch. Never anything Just a to bitch. Say. Why, why would you post that? Fuck that. Fucking Twitter generation, man. God <laughs> damn it. Alright. I clap my hands and sit back down, letting, all, letting them all get organized on their own. Yeah, I'm telling you, they really think they went on heavy. I hope someone's shitting on Taylor. Mm. It's, I, I foresee that. Let's uh, just check. Okay. Oh, uh, well. Can you believe it? No one snubbed me yet again, so he can just go keep fagging it up with Akira. <laughs> it's hurtful. What the hell? He has, has he just totally replaced me just like that? What a dick. Yes. Wow, yeah. I'm really sorry that he totally dropped like his fucking psycho bitch girlfriend. Yeah, really. Oh, you haven't been in love since you were 13? Whoa. Ariana may be realizing that she is full of shit. I ran, I give them a few minutes to break apart into their own groups and actually get started on talking about them. I have no idea how well this is going to go. I sure hope it works. It usually ends terribly. Yeah. Teacher, I'll let you know. As a, one of the participators... <laughs> it's not intentional. Every now. I think I just... I just dropped my cherry on this thing. Sorry. Oh, okay. We have a bit of a crisis it's here. It's fine now. It was it just happened. Oh, is this a burden? Yeah. All right. Well, you know, the quote, George W. Bush, mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> uh, feel free to chime in anytime you want, guys. Uh, the peanut gallery is I'm pretty quiet. certain that you're doing quote. just fine on your own. All right. I just want to know what the operation is. That's going to be a one man show here. After the war, ah, but. And of course, the tailor seems to get distracted. distracted. What a fucking story. Oh man, you have to show me that later. <laughs> WTF. Oh, she is I'm upset. So She's stirring the shit hot with them. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> Taylor just. I hope that in this story she gets shit on. Yeah, I think that. I think the foreshadowing of that ends with blood is everyone gangs up and kills Taylor. That's two? And now, in chapter, chapter like seven. I'm gonna say, 
Taylor gets brutally murdered by and Ariana gets murdered in the class. process. John is despondent. All the other classmates are upset because the other two break up over it. It yeah. ends in a tragedy train wreck crash of death. Yeah, that's that's it. That's the story. Let's go with this. Let's, All right, let's, let's see. Let's, it let's see it play out. We know right, there's two happen. messages. Yeah. Though. Oh yes. Sorry about the way with why I got distracted. What do you mean by that? Yeah, it didn't tell us anything. <laughs> Don't get too upset at him. It wasn't a personal snub. You just got, you know, you wanted the dick. Yeah. Now you're discussing going, Taylor. Well, actually, I didn't quite get that far. Uh huh. I've just been going over what happens with her before we start to tackle the court. Shit. Carrying the team. What really? she's upset about it. Uh, really? <laughs> yes, Mr. Brooks. Sorry, I've just been looking. Looking something at myself because I couldn't quite remember the sequence of events. Oh, let's get by too. Oh, because she doesn't like it. She's disturbed by it. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it was Isabella. It's not really like that, says Isabella. There's been a couple since, but never any serious. Never any serious loves. Jeez. Never any serious. Never any serious. Okay. Honestly, it wasn't even really that serious with that one either. We got together, honestly. Honestly, honestly, honestly. I didn't know before. Mostly because it seemed like it was convenient to, and we broke up in the same way. And if you ask him now, he'll even deny that we ever did it. I guess that's okay with me. It's not like it was ever really a big deal or anything. <laughs> Every so often I see him, and I just feel awful. Well, what? Well, what? Kendall never <laughs> wetting up. Never wetting up. All day with Kendall. For real. All right. Couldn't remember the sequence of events. Charlotte is... Chipping out. I guess I can't really call either of them on that excuse then. As well as I am to admit it. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, carry on then. I'll try to get to the questions quickly. You don't have that much time. Two notifications. I know. Of course. Alright, that seems over. I know that's cool every time. Yep. Random Googles, man. Watch for choose your own adventure games on the Googles. <laughs> <laughs> this was one of the options. I went through a form and somebody recommended it. So, I feel like I'm a little deep for it, but... Oh man, we should let's play Facade next, but that's a whole different thing. Oh, oh yeah, 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 we definitely should. Really I agree fully. That is such you a good... You played Facade? <laughs> oh, it's so good. Anyway, why is that? What? Why is that? I love poem. I love poem. You didn't give a shit. And I turned my attention to the other group that also doesn't seem to be seem to be okay <coughs> oh my god you're embarrassing me uh -huh. oh man another fucking <laughs> paragraph yep <Here> we go. <laughs> ah, more of the vocal it's about it has a lot to say to no I got it actually you know what go ahead go for it yeah yeah get this one every time we meet it's always the same he says we should see each other more than only every half a year Accidentally or something like that. We agree that we should meet up soon, talk and catch up. And deep in my heart, I hope that it leads to something nice. Maybe uh, that maybe now we're both older and wise, we can have a real relationship. But then I'd love nothing more than that. I secretly dream of all the dates we could have and that he would be real proud to tell his friends about. We never do, of course. We never even end up meeting that once to catch up. I saw him at a concert just the other month, and while all these possibilities flashed in my mind, I approached him, and we ended up going home together, just like old times, and we agreed we should meet up again soon to do something, but we didn't, of course, we never do. It doesn't stop me from imagining it, but I realize in all those fantasies of love, I don't know him at all. I don't really, I don't think it's even him that matters, really, it's just having, uh, he just happens to fit the role. I'm in love with the idea of Alan Mason and I. Wow. Real well, talk. I'll be. Real talk. All right. Ahem. What's up, sir? She doesn't even look up. Ella does. Isabella does. Isabella does briefly, but says nothing. You're supposed to be discussing the questions, Kendall. Are you both really done already? Huh, not much to discuss, sir. We're done. Well... Oh, really? Isabella says nothing but not Kendall is bullshit. Let me see it. Let me see if you're done. Oh, man. That's so sad. It's really trying that it never works out with you two. What are you going to do about it? Get to the point. I like it. Cat face. Cat sure he's in real life. 
I'm not impressed here. I don't believe for a second that they talked about it. I definitely Just move on. Try to trip them up. Ooh. Okay. Be no. an asshole. All right, let's be an asshole. If you're prepared to answer them already, then let's take it first. How would you say that Kakami uses grotesque death imagery as a form of emphasis in the White House scene? Kendall looks up and hesitates. Then you show employment he does. The whole point of the scene is that grotesque imagery ain't there. It's unemphasized because it doesn't exist, and that's totally shocking. Like, realistically, the scene should be this bloody horror, and if you think about it, it doesn't make any sense to have so many shooting deaths without any gore. But instead, all of the protagonist knows is the death, not the crazy visceral stuff. The most important goal is the protagonist bleeding, like he's alive. It's not the death that's grotesque. The death is just there. It's just blood that indicates he's alive that's grotesque as he strains himself. Too Long didn't read it uses grotesque life imagery, not death. You're asking the wrong questions. <laughs> well, she's certainly a smartass. I'm not impressed by the way she's blowing me off the time, but I can't say that she doesn't understand the material. It's obnoxious, but I can't score her. It make me look like a jackass. You yeah, are a jackass. Right. Yeah, she is a jackass. I think I'm going to have to handle this one. Yeah, she... Okay, that's a really interesting perspective. Good work. Well, okay. Moving on. The class is going to be doing well at all. I can only hope she says lol out loud. She definitely says lol. lol. I used to say lol. Oh, oh man! Uh, another fucking no. Too long didn't read. Did you really? Man, say I don't even know. I used it to say yes. I used to say all that loud oh, all the time. Oh man, Andy Waver status. Okay, I used to be. I used to be a cheerleader, guys. Okay. Of Names course, I used to say all out loud. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Of course, I was. I cannot yeah, believe. I, you. In. I can't believe you were a real. I'm not, I am not for shitting reals. you. Uh, I am not serious? shitting for, you guys. For, for super, I am not serious? shitting you guys. Serial? At serial? all. Not even remotely close to it at all. Okay. Did you have a teacher at your school that was to smex? <laughs> <laughs> to, what does that even mean? <laughs> just the other six. Exactly. Oh, um, yes, definitely. There was some, had, there were really... Did you ever describe them as to smex? No. Was he to smex? Okay. Or smexy? Okay. Smexy. S M E X X I I. I had friends who did that. With hearts on her documents. Dallas did that all the time. Dallas did it? No, someone that I know, that's one of you. For serious? Yeah, Dallas? Serious. No, no. For serious? No, I know it's not somebody I know. The girl's name is Dallas? Yes. Oh my god. Fucking Texas drug shit. Not in my America. She lived in the Argentina. Goddamn motherfucking Oh my god, that's even worse. Get out of here. Tex Mex? Ugh. Tex Mex. Tex Mex? Text messages. I have people on the real I have people on the real call, real call I, I, Mexi Mouse, Texie Mexies. <laughs> oh, I don't know why. I don't know why they do it. Right. But that's like someone ordered one and I was just like, what is that? And everyone at the store is like, oh, that's a Mexi You don't know that? Like, that's what people call Mexi Mexies. Yeah, and I was like, what? And sure enough, there are a ton of people that call Mexi Mouse, Texie Mexies. Oh my god. Not even kidding. Because it's Texas, Mexico. Texie Mexies? Texie Mouse. That's really bullshit. Alright, so. Let's get the. Uh, I've Too Long one. didn't read at the bottom there. That's what you gotta read. You're not gonna read this fucking novel. No, I'm reading it. Too Long didn't read. What do you mean by that? Come okay. on, Jim. Come on. <laughs> the, 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 no, this is, this is more than the TLDR is not accurate. I can already tell. Alright, I'll speed read it. I mean, normally that's the thing to do after watching something awesome. Downloading, downloading the awesome, making wallpapers, talking about the fortune I'm at the start, all that shit. And I mean, I do like the music. And there are probably some great wallpapers, but it just feels like, you know that feeling? That really big empty one you get at the end of a short book you really like, and you just do all those things in some sort of effort to cling on to whatever you can? What the fuck is up with that? I mean, eventually you find something else to fill the gap return with one of those single-minded fangirls, you know? And isn't that kind of ridiculous? You know what the feeling reminds me of? It's fucking love. You fall in love for 12 or so, then your heart gets broken, and then you listen to the soundtrack on repeat all day so it doesn't feel like it's over. Is that kind of bullshit? TLDR? Man, I don't even know. It just seems kind of fucked up. Her profile picture has moved down to her boobs well, now, by the way. Have you per- has anyone here personally felt that about a show? Like, you got so wrapped up in a show when it ended, you're just like, what the fuck? Oh, I want to yeah. watch yes. Barnes. Yes. Ghost in the Shell. Breaking I, Bad. I, I, I've done that with Breaking books. Bad. Maybe Breaking Bad. Like, like, I know they're making more. I wouldn't like, say I would be I used to cry. No, 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 Star, so you couldn't be on the episodic schedule to begin yeah. with, and you caught it just late enough that you had the time to work through, but then you have to wait for each individual episode, one a week. Yeah. Full so week. I can kind of relate to that, but not near as extreme. No, I'm yeah, also you, not a yeah, you have the man version. girl. Yeah. I have the boy version, the man version. Not even Power Rangers. 
Man, they need to bring Power Rangers back. Well, the like, good, good Power, Power Rangers, Rangers. <laughs> not the fucking... No, they should redo it. Make it, like, uh, animal make it like rated R. Rated R Power, <laughs> Power Rangers. I'm news the tentacle rapist. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is absurd. <laughs> Isabella Hart says in the response to Ariana about her relationship with this guy, kill myself, probably. It'd be less dramatic and less stupid. Oh, man. Maybe it's she's gone for it. LOL, wall. He is you actually it. <clears throat> making that face right now. It's I know it. I knew I called it you because they it. mentioned it before. That's the thing he does apparently. Makes the cat face. Yeah, just a. Yeah. I can't do it, and you can't hear it over the microphone. But <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, that face. You know, like the, the you, fucking you cat know, face. you can see the cat, cat face. face. Look at Herbert. <laughs> that fucking that face. fucking face. When he's happy, he's like mm, yeah. it's a cat face. It's a smug little grin. Uh, actually, I'm a little bit surprised. It sounds like Taylor actually managed to express an informed opinion for once, even if it was with the help of Charlotte. Well, whatever, memorizing that much shit in such a short time is not bad. Is Taylor did something? Maybe there's hope for her yet. No. I don't believe it. He's got oh, a shit. message. Yeah, he's I don't a, know. He's got an idiot for When the one star rings, it seems far too quick, and of course, even though I was mid sentence, I'm going to need to pack some of their things. This is about Charlotte, isn't it? Do you want to talk about it? Oh, uh, just the minutiae of this game it. makes me so mad. I want shit God to happen. God damn it! Oh, this is, we've only been going for 26 minutes. We know we've at least got, like, another half an hour. Yeah, oh, we're yeah. on we're on part three already, and we've only gotten one, like, n like mention of a penis in this game. Yeah, I think this goes on for a bit. I oh, think really? this is a lengthy game. We've got much this more is a, This is a fucking 60 megabyte game. Ugh. <laughs> Like three minutes to download. That's nothing to joke about. You don't even joke about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not anything to joke about. No, it, ain't. Don't do. it certainly ain't. You're right. You don't kill yourself. <laughs> and you also don't take three minutes to download something. <laughs> no, uh, not especially not a choose your own adventure game from. That I guess it's Canadian uh, yeah, or maybe. Japanese, but regardless, uh, is a piece of shit. It's Little Japan, Canada, god yeah, damn it! Little it was a fuck like right! Was it made in Canada? I don't know. Like, not it was good. surely made... The, look at this game. Does it look like it was made by a goddamn Canadian? It could be! I don't know. Yes. There's some neckbeards in Canada. <laughs> there are tons of neckbeards in Canada. Canada is neckbeards. <laughs> They're all too shy to get mad this way. No, it's okay. <laughs> Smoke your goddamn Manitoba cigarettes. Yeah. Excuse me, Mr. Rook. Yes, how can I help you? There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Uh, by the way, a uh, lady fucker has gone off to the bathroom. Probably will be back. <laughs> we'll have to see. You don't even need. Unneeded. <laughs> hey, no, I gotta, you know, the audience has to do the stage. She'll be back. She'll be back. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why you're not yeah, here. Yeah, but she time. will be. So you... Okay, whatever. Whatever. Let's go. <laughs> of course, any time. Is this what was up earlier, or could you, would, or would you rather talk about it somewhere more privately? Wow, fucking modifier. It is, not right now, though. How about after school? Certainly. You know where my office is? Yes, room 12, right? I've been there several times. Oh, All right. Yeah, it's about Charlotte. Um, honestly, not really. Sorry. I'm just kind of rambling. I'll let you know if I'm ever ready to talk about it. You were, like, talking. I like you. First of all, you type like you talk. You clearly are too scatterbrained to plan your sentences out. And so you're just rolling off of the text as it comes to you. No deletion. Uh, your spelling would indicate that, too. So I like you for that, because that's how I do it. Oh, <laughs> yeah? I li I, it's an intentional stylistic choice. I feel like writing should be as honest as speech. Mm -hmm. And so, very little. I mean, obviously, the pre planning that happens. It's talking. all about context. I mean, if you're writing a paper, you're not gonna write it as if you were. Talking. I don't have to bend if it's philosophy class. I just fucking crank them out. Well, yeah, but that's different <laughs> philosophy. If you're writing a U.S. <laughs> history paper, you're yeah, you're right. It has to. You have to yeah. do the research and shit. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, great. I'll see you there then. See you there. Thanks. Then. See you there. Abur. Indeed. I wonder what's up with her. I really hope this time it's actually something I can help with. I'm really not sure about her. She's always so quiet. Always. Kendo, do you know where Akira is? Off having sexy shenanigans with Nolan, probably. <laughs> Kendo. Oh, Kendo. Okay, anytime you do, bro, just let me know. Yeah, bro. Bro. Got it. Bro. 
Come at me. Yeah, if you even lift, come at me. <laughs> don't even lift. Not like that. Don't even lift. No, so anyway, bro deserves it. That's not very helpful. Sorry, um, for serious, I think they've been eating one together up on the roof. I checked their first. Yes. Thanks. For serious. For serious. For serious. Is it just me, or does she seem even more aloof than usual? Maybe. You should go easy on her. I think she uh, has a lot going on right now. Yeah, I'm just worried. Why is he worried? Because he's responsible for their care. He's oh, wait, is she about to go up on the roof? More silence. I'm, pred- I, I'm, so. I'm predicting suicide right now. Oh, man, she loves to on it. it. Calling it. Oh, man. Realize I'm just making a weird situation worse. Worse. I shrug and go get my wife in the pair of them. Truthfully, I don't think it helps. There's still an unspoken tension in the air. Tendo and Charlotte are chatting, but barely. I don't think it's because of me. I think there's just something else going on here. But clearly, you have access to all your secret files. Yeah. acting like the dunks as they are. Of course, there's something else going on. 3.55 p.m. It's a bump. Most common time card in the game, by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everything happens at 3.55. All right, classes are over. Okay, we're definitely going to have to look at 12chan right now. Goodbye, everyone. Sorry I couldn't stay, but, well, it's for the better. Oh, yeah, oh about this is going to be a suicide for oh, real. Oh, it's happening. Oh, because there was a little full chain. Willie dies. Oh, my God. Aniko finale. Goodbye, oh, Willie oh, Chow. Oh, no. I know, right? This game, there's so many levels. Meta gaming. It's, it's meta. What's happening? This is not 12 chain. This is, this is the parody of 4chan. That's and, on their school network. And the story is told out through the literature class that Mr. Rook teaches and the 12 channel posts that you see on your computer. As well as through the Facebook messages and profiles and stuff you see from the students. As well as the events that actually take place in your life. All portrayed simultaneously from different points of view. Usually not 12 channels. But it's all the same. It's like Inception within Inception within Inception within Inception with this game. It's insane. It gets a kind of fun. Yeah, it was a little drawn out. You didn't see the finale? Uh, what? What? <laughs> they didn't see the finale. They got spoiled. It's, they, they, let me just say, they do a really good job of portraying fortune. <laughs> yeah. And like, it's some of the on. comments are so got, spot on. I got a, a long what? The you mad bro. Yeah. What? <laughs> Yeah, they were pretty good. Russell and the Jimmy. Yeah, I haven't seen that. Yeah. It's probably too old. It's, yeah, I never see it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it was awesome in general. I love Louie Chan so much. I would go hair hetero for her, no lie. And it's a great finale. I just thought her death went on for way longer than it should have. He said, What? Thought Louie should have died sooner. My face went. <laughs> I just think it would have been better if she'd said nothing. It really took me out of it and went on for too long. No death doesn't last for five minutes. True story, but it was supposed to be super dramatic. Right, I just don't think dragging up for so long helped. I think it pushed it into melodrama and making it a joke it just felt kind of cheap. How would you do it then? Hmm, that's hard. How about a sudden ending? And uh, that's where we're at. How about a sudden ending? Just like bam, bam. How about a sudden ending? Just let the shock of it set in <laughs> as the normal events progress. I can go for that strategy. Outside, I can hear rather a set of voices shouting. Rather loudly in unison. Cheerleaders, I suppose. Isabel is probably already on her way to my office. Well, that's enough to hold on for me. Time to go. Yeah, see, we beat it to the punch. Yeah, we did. Channel. We start to predict this. Yeah, a little bit. It's, it's kind of funny. Away. Guess I got here first, man. Something's about to happen. That's for serious. Well, I can wait. I sit down and wait. Tap my hand on the desk impatiently. Look up my lesson plan for tomorrow, but unlike every other time, I can't see anything worth adjusting. Yes, because he's perfect in every way. So this is where we're waiting. Just hanging out room here. This is a dope office, by the way, for a teacher. She's probably sitting say. in that chair, fiddling with the pencils, rearranging the books, and it's. Kind of Shuffling about the plants. I actually Canadian just noticed. teachers must be dope. Yeah, they have offices like this. This these plants are hyper realistic looking for this entire rest of the scenery. It looks like it's been photoshopped in. Everything else is following the style of the plants, though, except for that one. I wonder where she could be. 
She doesn't really seem like the sort of person to blow off an appointment like that. I hope everything's okay with her. All the worst possibilities of what it could be raced through my head. Maybe she got hurt. Maybe something happened. Maybe she couldn't bring herself to talk about it. Or maybe she... I I'm being ridiculous. I just have an overreactive imagination, so I'm sure she's fine. Something probably just came up until later. Maybe she just got lost? No, that can't be it. She knows what room this is. It's not a very big Wait. school, and she clearly knew where it was. No, we gotta go look. Well, we we yeah, gotta stir the yeah, shit pot. I wanna okay. stir the shit pot, dude. Look for her. Votes? Look for her, look for her, look for her. Oh, I said wait, but whatever. I don't care. That's why we said look for her, look for her. Just pay <laughs> Okay. Maybe something's wrong. I should go look for her. I agree. No sign of I do a quick walk in the hallways. Stop every classroom. Everything's gone. Where could she possibly be? Look at the roof. Finally, desperation, I do another walk of the school, checking every single class in my past. Absolutely no sign of her. I wonder what happened. I hope she's okay. She didn't seem okay at all. I'm really worried. What could be wrong? Oh, man. I hope it's nothing. I hope it's just a false build. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Isabel was gone. Okay. Uh, Something definitely happened. Oh, no. Has anyone heard from Isabel at all? Anyone? Most. Oh, man, they know. Oh, no, they don't. Sorry about yesterday. It wasn't really in a, I wasn't really in a great place emotionally. <laughs> kind of had to get my, over myself there. I was being a total drama fag. Sorry, Ors. Sorry, Ors. Sorry, Ors. Class is silent. Mm. School what happens to everyone with to get a hold of her, still more silence. All right, I move on. There not really being anything else I could do, but the whole thing gives me a sinking feeling. Next wow. week. Next yeah. week. Maybe it was Friday though. Could have been. Oh, uh, maybe. Oh shit. Oh man. No, it's okay. It's a week. That right. is the most pile up we've had ever. Let's run it through. What happened? Oh shit. Say. Hey, did you hear about Bella? There's news? Yeah, she killed herself. Called it! Yeah. Fucking called that shit. Right Man, after the last time we saw her, apparently. Holy shit. Oh my god, really? I mean, I knew she was depressed, but... Oh my god, that's awful. I didn't really know her, but... Damn. Can't believe she's gone. R.I.P., sis. Our friendship much have had... Rough spots, but it really sucks that you're getting Tara can't even fucking move to Papa Memorial. Inconsiderate. Add it to the list. Inconsiderate. Rest in peace, Bella. Okay, that's why. It's just a whole bunch of... Uh, why did you have to leave us? <laughs> Read this. Goodbye, Bella. I'm sorry to go uh, that way. Bye, everyone. Sorry I couldn't see... Uh, <laughs> oh, no. That's why they made it. Just a... Kills Isabella somebody. killed herself. That kills the Maybe she didn't have rape eyes. Maybe she had eyes of sorrow and void. No, they were rape eyes. She was possessed by a demon. Okay. A suicide demon? A suicide demon. <laughs> Agent Orange status. It's hard not to assume the worst. Look at your messages. I know. Oh. But there's nothing I can do about it. I don't feel terrible about it. Maybe I should have listened. And maybe I should have insisted or gone walking with her that evening. No, she was already dead by that point. Yeah, she was dead. What could have possibly happened to her? Still, there's nothing I can do. Life still goes on without her. What do you think about the ending? Kendall, I'd really like to hear your thoughts. Um, well, I thought it was good. It's on, it ends on an effective note and makes a strong impression. Plus, the repetition of the body count works well for it. Do you think that worked in other parts of the novel, too? For reals. It helped me keep things structured. Good point. Any other thoughts or anyone else? It's just down without any further work. Yes. Hey, you want to see a movie this Saturday or something? No big deal or anything, I'm just wondering. Alright. So, is it my turn to host the party this weekend? Uh, no. Yeah, I guess it's yeah. Bella's not doing it. It's a Bella. Uh -huh. She doesn't give a fuck. She was pissy with Isabella. Yeah. Taylor Isabella, though, to be fair, called her a bitch, like, right off the bat. Yeah. And yeah. Taylor didn't even have it for a second. But Taylor yeah. deserved to be called a bitch yeah, because Taylor she is a bitch. She is a bitch. Yeah. Taylor is a bitch. Mm -hmm. Ah. Charlotte raises her hand when I pause before calling on her. You know, the worst thing about it all is, I find myself thinking. Even though Isabella is gone, you just happen to know. Just in between the students standing up and down. I just assume you've read it. They probably promised you. 
Even though this ball is gone, it's hard to even notice the difference. <laughs> wow! It doesn't feel like the dynamic of anything has changed for the guy, except for the completely sullen classmates who don't want to volunteer or anything. Yeah. Yeah, he'd love to talk about the launch. How utterly horrible is that, man? You, you know. At least he realizes he's an ass king. K. 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 End of, of chapter three. This, this is a short chapter. It gets shorter and shorter. It right gets now. shorter and shorter. All right, All right. well, we're going to cut the video the here, guys. We may be back with you really soon. We may not be. We'll have to take a vote and see. But I'm going to cut it off with the chapter just for the sake of convenience. Um, everybody have a good night. This has been Hessman. This has been Fat Fucker, Just a Fucker, yep. Lady Fucker, and Gore Fucker. Have a good off. one.